Hey guys, Wild for Games here. Today I got my first ever commission painting. It was requested that I did the Northern Lights, which is one of my favorite things to paint. So I had to cover my canvas in black gesso. Once I allowed it to dry for about five to 10 minutes, I was able to apply a very thin layer of linseed oil. I make sure to grind it in deep into the canvas, thus allowing my paints to blend and go across smoothly. Most of the colors I was requested for this were purples, blues, and greens. I thought it would be best to add a little bit of red, so I included that and I kind of just sparsely patched out all the colors to where I thought they would be, making sure to leave the darkest colors on the top left and right corner of the paintings to give me a nice vignette. I filled in the bottom of the painting with some blue and some red just to give a little bit of a purple hint color to it but mostly blue overall. From there I took my fan brush and I kind of just went crazy with it with titanium white swirling in just the corner of the brush kind of just making some C shapes and some S shapes and whatever I could. From there I took just the top corner of my two inch brush and blended in with small circles to fill in the gaps nicely increasing it there and pulling up with the two inch brush to create the nice curtains that you would see within the northern lights. From there, I blended out the colors there going left and right with just a little bit of the brush touching just to work out the brush strokes. From there, I had to decide where I was gonna put in the rest of my mountains and my land. I knew I wanted to do two mountains, so I mixed up my paint and I used just phalo blue and a little bit of black because I wanted it to be a lot darker. I applied that on there, pulled down the rest of my color to get a nice natural gradient of what I want. On the highlight side, I made sure to apply nothing but titanium white. On my shadow side, I used phalo blue mixed with a little bit of phalo white to create a nice natural shadow. And of course, I like it when the sunlight or in this case, the moonlight kisses across the shadow side so I apply just a little bit of titanium white coming across and letting the canvas grab what it wants. I repeat the same process on the mountain that I have put in the middle. Again, putting titanium white on my highlight side and phalo blue mixed with titanium white on my shadow side. I wanted to give this mountain a little more of a dominant look so I made sure to bring down a lot more thicker highlights and a lot more thicker shadow on this side as I brought it across. As always, I tap out the bottom of my mountain and fade up the colors into it to give it that nice misty color effect, also leaving some distance. In front of the mountain, I put some black bushes also, I pulled down the titanium white to make it a nice little lake. Also adding highlights on top of all of my bushes. I wanted a very cold and very wintry scene here. I wanted it to look like it just had dropped snow. So I made sure to take a lot of titanium white mixed with liquid white there and add it on my bushes and of course on my trees that I am now adding in my bottom right hand corner. I am just tapping these in just applying it only on top of the paint, not the canvas itself. Of course, I wanted to add a little more texture and depth to it, so I added some bushes in front of this to make it look like the trees were sitting on its own little island. Adding a little more detail, of course, to the painting. I wanted to give it a little bit of a shelf that it was sitting on, so I made sure to add my water lines and, of course, a little bit of burnt umber land that the bottom right was sitting on with water lines on the left and center of the bushes just to create the effect that the still water was icy and cold but yet still moving across the whole painting here. All I am doing is just grinding the, the canvas in with my liquid white coming flat across my knife to make sure all of the water that meets the land there is nice and still and of course having a nice effect. And of course I like to put highlights on top of my brown that way it looks like a little bit of snow is resting on there which is only a mixture of burnt umber and mostly liquid and titanium white to make things stand out. Again I only let the canvas grab what it needs to grab. I'm really happy with this one for being my first commission. I think I couldn't have done any better than I wanted. 
Black canvases are one of my favorites. If you guys ever want the chance to follow me on Twitter, it's at Wild for Games. You can also see me paint live on Twitch. My name is Wild for Games there as well. Make sure to get me a follow on Twingy and follow me on Instagram. If you guys like this video and more, make sure to like it and thumb it up and leave a comment. I will see you guys later.